Well, hi, and thanks for joining me here in my shop. So I'm going to be doing the uh, AM broadcast band alignment. Let me back that up. I'm going to do the IF alignment. Maybe make it to the uh, broadcast band. Probably not. Probably going to get just end up getting through the uh, the IF alignment here. So I'm pretty much set up, ready to go. I'm going to put some full full power on here to get this guy warmed up fully. So I have my signal generator going over here. It's a little hard to see what it says, but it says 455 in effect there. I just move this light a little bit. It might help. So I've got the uh, 455 kilohertz signal fed into the grid of the IF amplifier tube. So it comes out of that tube and goes into the second IF which is right up here, you can't quite see it. Second IF transformer. And that's what I'm going to be tuning up. I just realized I have left off the... Uh, I, I have left off the meter I need to uh, watch the signal. Go. Let's turn some volume up here. Ah, lucky. There's the signal from the signal generator. As hoped for, I guess I could say. Now let's see if we get the meter responding here. Volume. So I have a very low signal going into the radio. So actually, that that's very good. Let's tolerate the meter jumping around for now, and uh, get that. I think I need a little tiny skinny screwdriver to do this. So this be the the uh, this transformer here. I'm going to do now. Uh, I, I, what I found in the past with these, I don't know if this is true. You know, half the stuff I say, I don't really know if it's true. The uh, primary seems to move the tuning frequency of the transformer around, and the secondary seems to bring up and down its strength. So I, I don't know if that's really the fact of the matter. But some earlier experimenting with some other stuff gave me that conclusion. Now the meter's not showing anything at all here. Let's, we can't do that. Okay, volume full. That's how you're supposed to do it. Low signal, high volume. And I got to go right past the power. The power wires take them right in here. Oh my gosh. I need a lot more light. Okay, I'm in. Oh, I don't see any change. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Okay, that's great. So I told you which one I'm going to do, then I headed for the wrong one. That's okay, because that, that one comes second. This is the one I wanted. Oh. oh, there's an effect from my screwdriver. Now, a lot of these, you can touch with a metal screwdriver, has no effect. So this will be tricky if I'm going to continue with the metal. Let me, let me turn the peak right where it's peaked. Oh, it stayed that time. Okay. 
Maybe I was pushing on it or something. We'll go up on the top. Now I, I aligned this radio some years ago, but I don't know how good a job did I do. Something going on with this top coil. I can only turn it so far and then it, it jams. What the heck's going on there? Ooh, it's doesn't sound very good here. It sounds like the slug is, is breaking. That's what it sounds like. Oh my gosh, really? Uh, let me take the can off and look in there. What good would that do anyway? I could I can get the can off fairly easily. Um, but the slug slug is inside. You can't see anything about it. Wow, it just had that grindy feel to it. Sometimes, you know, it's nothing. You can just push past it and it's, it's nothing. But the other times, you know, I might be... Uh, well, let's leave it as it is because the radio does work fairly well. So even if this isn't perfectly tuned, what can I do? Can't do much. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I take the can off just to see what can be seen. Um, what what can you see from the top anyway? What can you see if you look down through the top? Oh, I, I doubt you can see anything. Let's take a look. Oh, I wonder if the grindy is just right on the top there. Or it's a little rusty. Just a little better light on the deal. Well, so, oh, look at that. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> What exactly is that? Some that's a freezing. That's a kind of a goop they put in there to lock it up. Well, okay, 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 okay. That's not so bad. It's a question of degooping it, picking that goop out of there. Uh, wow, it's not so often they uh, freeze up these kinds of things. I'm looking at it with my eyes here. Yeah, somebody somebody's poured goop in there or something. For sure that's what that is. I mean, what this means is I can just, oh, look, there's a spring a spring load here, spring to uh, hold this, and the retention spring's missing up here. So what I'm worried about is that this isn't goop, but it's actually a piece of brass, and it's the threaded piece that, that this should be rotating through. This one's the same. Got the same thing happening down here. Just grind through there, Jim. Uh, the threaded piece is down in here. It's like a pot here, and they filled it with a compound to freeze it up. 
Interestingly enough, he's only freezing, only freezing the top part, the bottom one. Of course, the bottom ones. You know what they're doing? And maybe they're making it difficult for a consumer to reach in and, and turn these things. Because with my hand on it, I'm, I'm grounding it, getting that noise. Um, but you, you are supposed to reach in afterwards, after you've got this whole radio back in the cabinet, periodically adjust these. These are all the uh, local oscillator adjustments. I mean, you can reach them from the back. And this radio is well, well thought out in that respect. But what they don't want you to try to do is turn these. So if you accidentally turn these, you're in trouble, I would say. That's my theory on why they put glue in the top. Okay, so we're back, back in business for tuning. Wow, okay, that was scary there for a minute. <laughs> but I'm better now. Okay, let's check 5, 455 still. Sensitivity for the screwdriver. Pretty sensitive. Wait a minute. You know what that is? That's the noise that's causing the meter to jump up and down. Oh, it's right on the money anyway. Right on the money. And well, that was decided to be very sensitive. Very interesting. I won't explain why I find that interesting. Uh, let's see if I can't turn it with a plastic tool, or at least one with a lot less metal in the end here. Let's try this one. This tool's shaft is too, too wide to go in there because that thick capacitor that I left in, by the way, this great big electrolytic capacitor, I just left it in for now. Uh, well, how bad can it be? So I've managed to, to I know, so I know for sure it's peaked at the top. It's, it's peaked enough at the bottom. Let's go on, moving on, moving on. Let's move on, move on. I'm not going to get any more of this transformer, I don't think. Okay, so let's carry on with the alignment here. I kind of got uh, two feelings about this because the string is not on on this radio. Uh, but I think I can carry on without the string because the back of the dial has this index numbers, those index numbers you see. And I'm just going to turn the dial here and you'll, you'll see the uh, numbers go. I'm going to check my pointer. It should be rated right zero. So that's with the uh, tuning capacitor at one limit. Looks like it's just a hair past the zero. My little pointer there, you see that? That's a paper clip I've installed there. Okay, so we can tune the radio to specific spots by simply looking at this scale and the chart here. And the chart says the first thing is to tune to 21.5 megacycles at 162 degrees. 162 degrees. We'll go up there, turn the radio up a bit. Oh, I don't have it on the right band yet. So we're just listening to AM here. And what did I say it was? 162. Well, I would make, I would say that's about 162 there because the pointer's ever so slightly off. Right, 162. Okay, let's get it on the right band here. I heard a shocking little bit of news this morning about uh, the uh, Titanic. And I remember years ago when the search for the Titanic was going on and then they found it and wow, it was really, really something and all this kind of stuff. Well, it turns out it's been revealed that that was a cover story for the American Navy recovering two nuclear subs or at least doing something with two sunken nuclear subs. Yeah, there's sunken nuclear subs around the world. So but anyway, it's not something, eh? Cover story from 40 years ago. Right, which band are we on now? Right up to the top band, 613. Let me look in the little window there and just... Without any 
doubt. That's where we are. Okay. We don't hear 21.5 coming through. So, uh, without tuning the radio at all, tune the signal generator, we'll find out where this is really tuned to. Twenty-one two sixty-three. Now, why isn't my meter leaping right up here? Well, a little louder than I like, but good enough. Okay, so 21,263 when it's really supposed to be 21,500. Wow, was that out. The adjustment is L45. L45, and uh, yeah, I should have I looked this up before I... Uh, a lot of them are back here. No. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to just look this over until I find it here. Am I reading that right? L? It sure looks like 45. Is there C46? Seventeen, twelve, four, three, four. I think that says. Wow, we're off to a great start here. If I were L forty-five, where would I be? Oh my gosh! L45. Am I really reading this number terribly wrong? Well, the rest of the numbers are small. Oh no, C37, 38, well, 45. I'm going to sit and stare at this all day. No L45. Sometimes you just can't believe. Uh, you can't believe what goes on. So what do, I, what do I mean by that? So okay, so you're looking at the alignment chart. You know this this chart you're looking at on the screen there. It's quite clear somebody has retyped this. I, I don't think this is original. It just looks too clean, too neat. Um, so if you look at uh, the order of alignment number three, that's where we're at, and you look across to the right-hand side, you see C46. But when I look at the sheet I have in my hand, I see L45. And could it be 46? It doesn't look like it. It looks like a 45. So my sheet is identical in all respects to the sheet you're looking at, except for one thing, and that's L45. Isn't that something? So it's really C46. Now think about it for a minute, you know. If it were an L, you, generally you're adjusting inductors at the low end of the band, and you're adjusting capacitors at the high end. So here we are at the high end of the first band, and my sheet is telling me to adjust a coil or an inductor, it just doesn't even exist. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> no, maybe, maybe this is why I messed this up last time around, or maybe I did mess it up last time around, or, or maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's go back to the radio here. Okay. So if we want to look for C45, that's that's a different deal. Let's see, C45. Oh my gosh, you know what? It says C46 up here. How much I want to bet that's what it really is. That's really C47, C48. C47, 
see, 17. Well, it says right there. You know what it says right there? <laughs> Jim, just read it. C46, 16 to 18 meter band, 21.5 kilocycles. So it's actually telling you this, this is the one. Wow. Yeah. Well, with that kind of help, pretty easy to get this all wrong. And that's probably why this thing is adjusted way off. I'm going to guess. I, uh... Okay, so now what I've done is I, I've gone... That adjustment is right in the... You can just, just see my camera here? That's right where my camera is set up to watch the uh, tuning thing. Watch the tuning dial. Too much. Too bad for that. Got to go. Okay, listening for a change. Yeah, I think there's a change there, but we're gonna be able to tune this thing all the way to. Uh, it's, it's it's one of these shafts with a a. a hole through it and I've stuck the tool into the hole so I can turn the shaft. That's what's going on here. Twenty one okay so we want to get to really twenty one point five that's where we want to go. Really? Twenty one point five. It's a long ways. So let's go there. Short, short, stiff. Maybe this little screwdriver. Hmm. Wow. It just sounds like I'm wrecking something here. signal. This doesn't seem to be doing the, the right thing. Yes, peanut. <laughs> uh, such a humorous cat he is. You know what? What should I do about the situation? Yeah, I know. What should I do? You got a good idea? Have you got a good idea? Right? Yeah, 
it says good morning rub okay Show them how you fall over. Show them how you fall over. That's the way you fall over. Fall over, crying out loud, you fell over off camera. Hey, can I try that again? Come over here. Okay, Peanut, show them how you fall over. Come on. <laughs> you can do it. I know you can do it. See, his tail is just shaking there. He's not shaking now. Happy cat. Here he goes. Here he goes. There's the follower. <laughs> Are you just about done? Are you just about done? One of these days he's going to answer me and I'm going to fall over. Actually, one thing about this cat is he looks right into your eyes just like people look in your eyes. And I've had quite a few cats and uh, most of them do not look in your eyes in a penetrating way, but this one does. This one makes a direct connection with your soul, I guess what you'd say. <laughs> yes. Yeah, time to go. Time to go. We're done. I gotta get back to this radio, man. Come on, you're slowing everything down. You really are. Your, your interference. Can you let go of my hand? Thank you. No, let go of my hand. <laughs> okay, may you just lay here. Just lay here. Like that. Okay? Stay there. Okay, so... Okay, for those of you who don't like cats, sorry about that. <laughs> but... I have to attend to everything here. So what was I doing? Yes, yeah, so I was trying to rotate this control and having a terrible time of it because it feels like it doesn't want to go. Here, I'm going to get a closer look at this, what I'm talking about here. So this is the control I'm trying to rotate. has a little hole in it into which I can stick a tool not that one let's say this little tiny screwdriver and then rotate except my screwdriver is interfered with which is why I'm having so much trouble here it's too big to go all the way through that's exactly where I was wasn't it really hard to turn so I need a strong tool. What in the heck? Okay, I have to go find the tool I need to do this with which is probably somewhere else in the house here. Hang on. Oh my gosh I went all over my house looking for this. I finally found it on the floor here in the shop underneath something. Wow. Okay so this is the ideal tool for putting in the little hole and then turning. And that's why I really anxious to get this so now we're ready to go again what's happened here we don't see any meter action okay let's see how we do with another meter here oh come on mr. camera do your thing. I'm just watching that meter to see how steady it is now. Okay, that's much better. Much, much better. Turn this down a little bit. 
Okay, now, what the heck am I actually trying to do here? I'm trying to get this radio to pick up to be at, at, at the place where it's tuned right now. It should be receiving 21,500. It's receiving 21,250. Which way did we go? Wrong way. Doesn't that sound good? Let's see where we are now. Hey. But what I'm worried about here is that this, this capacitor may be just a go around, go around, go around capacitor. Or it may be a crank that actually cranks something up and down. And you have many, many turns to adjust it. Or the other way, it's halfway and that's it. So I get the feeling that's what this is. Halfway and that's it. How can you adjust anything seriously with that? It can't be the case. Let's try again here. So I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Now, which way did it go? Went down. Now, this is, I'm getting, getting every indication this isn't going to work. Okay, so now I, I turn the frequency generator up. Let's see if we can find it here. Pretty good. Just peeled the metal off my tool. You know what? I think this is just around and around. Getting anywhere. What am I missing? Missing here. Can't get anywhere near it. Is there, is there an L? What's at the other end of the, the same band? Well, there is L13. Maybe that's way, way, way out. So why don't we go to the other end of the band? 17.75. Okay, 17.75. Five O is at 17 degrees. I'm just going to do this by eye here. Wow, we went past it way off. 17, 17 degrees. Really? Oh my gosh, it's 60 miles out. Really, it's it's way, way, way out. So what I want to turn out is L13, L, there's L13 right there, it says 13 meter oscillator, 15 to what? Yeah, that's right, yeah, 15 to, that's at the bottom of the pan. It says 15 to here, but on the instructions it says, did I get this wrong? Maybe I did. It says 17. 17 here. 15 here. 15 twos. Is there any 15 twos? There is a 15 two. 
for the 19 meter band. 19 meter band, I got the wrong one here. L13. L13. Come on. There's L13 there. This is L something else. This is like L17 or something like that. L17 is the A oscillator. I'm going to look at that other sheet here because I think the sheet I'm looking at is bogus. L12 is what it is. L12. Okay, L12. L12. 16, 18, oscillator, 17, 750. There it is, L12. Okay, L12. Now I know what I'm doing. L12. You know what? Let's, I'm going to show you L12 because it's worth taking a look at. Uh, it already shows some signs of So here's all those adjustments. See, they're all fairly high. Whoops, except for one, the one that's in the foreground there. See, they're all relatively high. Here's the one I was struggling with here that I just couldn't get to do much. So this one, look, it's cranked. This one here is cranked way down. This is the one that's way off. It's probably supposed to be way up there, too, just like the rest. So. Well, that's the one I'm going to adjust. I'm just going to crank it up. <laughs> well, that didn't take long, did it? That was hardly anywhere. So don't trust that one. Let's keep going. Maybe that's not the right one. Well, the whole radio's gone quiet now. Okay, we're getting up in the range. I hate that scrapey sound, man. So, we're getting nothing up here. Okay, so we're going back down to where it came to life, just a short ways from where it was. Goes, comes to life. Come on to life. Oop! Did I go right past it there? Here it comes. There we are. So let me double check the uh, tuning. Is it's set to 17 degrees? Chart shows 17 degrees. 17.75. 17.75. Okay. I'll go up to the other end and see how, how good it is at the other end. Again, the other end is 162 degrees. Okay, I'm just setting it up by eye here. 162. Question is, what do we get at 162? We're supposed to get 21.5. Look at that. Almost exactly right. Wow, it's really very, very close. Now I'll adjust that little capacitor there. Get the impression the instructions got you doing the wrong end first. Okay, how about our meter? Whoa, 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 whoa. where'd everything go? That's going to be it. That's, that's as good as I'm going to get this. So, but that's good. That's really good. We'll go back down and check the uh, 1775. At 17. At 17 degrees. Right. Oh, 
not going to get much closer than that. That's perfect. Now, we have two more adjustments to do on this band yet. The next one, back to 21.5. And we adjust. See, I'm going to look at the other chart. To be sure. C12 is what it looks like here. C12 is on top of the capacitor. 1316 detector, 21.5. Yeah, that's it. So it's the trimmer in the center of the capacitor. 21.5. Uh, 162 right on 162 and the adjustment is C12 center adjustment on the capacitor oh boy how am I going to get up to that now all this stuff hanging here. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> and I might be able to do it with my uh be able to do it with something like this. Okay, I'm in there. I don't think it's very good though. Getting <sighs> slipped at the last minute. I have to put you back over here. So gotta kinda keep your eye on the meter there anyway. Now what, what happened that we went off? Did I knock the I, I think I knocked the big wheel slightly slightly. Okay, I'm in the screw here, but there we go. As usual, I can't turn it with a plastic tool. Can't be done on this. And a big honking screwdriver. It's a capacitor, so there's a good chance this won't hurt anything. Okay, I'm in. I just realized I have my phone in my pocket, so now I owe everybody an apology for telephone interference. Well, you know, I don't think it's doing anything, which is a really bad sign. Well, it's doing a little something. Didn't get a good feeling from that, that's for sure. Let's tighten it down and see what happens here. Well, I can hear it getting quieter. I'm not seeing it on the meter, though. Is that meter not working for me anymore?
would say there. And the last one. C4 antenna adjustment. Same frequency, same dial position, everything. C4. C4. C4 is the next one over. Oh, look at this. this C4 here. C3. This, this thing's just loaded with capacitors, isn't it? Oh. Maybe it's talking about... seem to exist in this radio. I'll worry about it later. Let's do the one that does exist. Or, which once again I've got to C4 on the front. C4 towards the front. Okay I'm in. C4. Old still radio. This one hurt a bit. Again, it's quite loose, so I'm tightening it down. It's getting quieter. I can hear it get quieter. The meter didn't work for us again because I got it turned down too low. Okay, let's try this again. Opening it up. Way up. The screw's going to fall out tight, loosened up. I don't like that kind of deal either. You really like to see a peak happen, but uh, not going to happen with this one. C4. So that's it for the 16 to 18 meter band. You know, that band should be active. We should be able to pick some stuff up with it. Let's give it a go. Pretty darn sensitive. It's still picking up my signal generator from this box here. That's amazing. Okay, uh, volume down before we get a big surprise. Okay. Let's just go tuning around. Good sound. Going the other way now. Back past where we were. Hmm. It's not very reassuring. Uh, my impression is the alignment's way off on the band because it really gets a lot of noise at one end and it's very quiet at the other and we're not picking anything up anywhere. It could be there's nothing to pick up right now. It's, uh, the short wave conditions are just horrible. Uh, really, really horrible. Um, Well, I mean, we've, we've run the signal generator into it at both ends, and the sensitivity is good. The signal generator uh, output was very low. So I'm, I'm not sure it, testing it on the antenna is effective. I don't think, I don't think it's telling me anything. So I think, I think that's it for that band. I'm going to carry on with the rest of it in the AM. That's going to be tomorrow while I think a little about how this went. It didn't really go as well as I would hope. So thanks for watching though, and we'll see you on the next video.